So I have a challenge for you guys. It's called a Make Trend Black Famous Challenge. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna watch this video all the way through, the entire thing. We're gonna like the video, we're gonna subscribe, and then we're gonna leave a comment. And we're gonna test, you know, just as an experiment. Will this make me famous? Will this make this video go viral? Let's do it. So, in high school, teachers like to talk about how once you get to college, things are gonna get a lot more serious. Well, I just completed my freshman year studying computer science at Arizona State University. And I'll let you guys decide if my experience seemed a lot more serious than high school. So I'm just gonna go through all the classes that I took in my freshman year, explain a little about them, what happened and what you can expect. ASC 101. All right, this was the stupidest class that I've ever taken in my entire life. It was a one credit class. Basically, it was like a college readiness class but you're already in college. The final project was to just show up to the career fair, which I didn't do. I just emailed the TA that I wasn't gonna go and I got an A for the class. CSE 110. Funny story about this class. So we actually had the option to test out of this class if we were already comfortable with uh, computer science and programming. So this was during the first week of school. So new me, new year, I was ambitious, excited to make new friends, right? So I show up to the testing center, I sit next to this kid, and I'm like, so hey, have you ever coded in Java before? It was a Java test. He looks me dead in the eye and says, I've been coding in Java since I was seven years old. Okay, shit, sorry for asking, damn. One week later, I just see him like around school, so I approach him and I'm like, hey, did you pass? He was like, no, I got a 65%. <laughs> Guess we got a 98% though. So yeah, I skipped this class. It was just an introduction to uh, like Java. CSE 205. This was, uh, I believe, object orientation and data structures. So there's a really famous computer science class called data structures and algorithms. And this is usually the class that's gonna prepare you for the coding interviews, the technical interviews for jobs. This class, CSE 205, was like a baby version of that. So we went over a lot of data structures like linked lists, binary search trees, stacks, heaps, queues. We also learned a lot about object orientation, you know, the four pillars, abstraction, the other three. <laughs> I had to self-teach everything. So I pretty much only showed up four times after the first week. And those were the four times during the exams. I bombed one of them, so I thought I was gonna get a B for the class, but then I clutched the final and got an A. English 101. You know, all you really need to know is I did some presentation on some condoms, and then we had to write an essay and we were told that it could be as controversial as we want, so I wrote it on the existence of God. FSC 100. So this is supposed to be like a fun introduction to engineering class. It was pretty cool that we were able to build these little robot, like Roomba-like thing, things using EV3s. I remember specifically that our final grade depended on how well it could navigate this maze. Me and my group, we were trying to get it right, but when we were practicing, it would never navigate the maze correctly. It would always mess up somewhere. But the one time that we were being graded, it navigated the maze perfectly. And we got 100% for it. So we got an A for that class as well. Matt265, also known as Calculus 1. Also known as the first B that I've ever got in a math class in my entire life. I partially blame this grade due to this really stupid exam we had. So the way this exam was graded was that if you got a 90% or above, you get 100% for the, for the exam. But if you get below 90%, you get 90% of what you would have gotten. So there was 20 questions. In my entire class of like 100 students, the highest score was an 18. I scored 17. That would normally would have been an 85%, but since we're taking 90% of what we would have gotten, I got a 76%. So I got a C for that exam, while people that got one more question got a 100%. I don't know why it was graded like that. That was kind of weird. I also remember my professor for this class. It was like quite a character. He was like this small uh, little Chinese man with a thick accent. He'd always write something on the board and be like, he'd start pointing like, look at it, look at it. Math is a language. Philosophy 101. Probably the funnest class I've ever taken. Also this class like weirdly in some abstract way was, it tied into computer science pretty well. There's more overlap than you would think. This class for, for a period of time made me want to go out and argue with like every single person about everything. We learn about the truth of statements, valid inferences. For example, did you know if I say that every elephant on my shoulder is pink? That's a true statement because there's no counterexample. You can't find one elephant on my shoulder that isn't pink. During the course, one day our professor offered us $100 if we could prove him wrong 
in the conclusion that indulging in a luxury was immoral. For example, if you were to go out and eat some ice cream just for the purpose of enjoying it, he was arguing that that's immoral. And if anyone could prove him wrong, we would get $100. So I spent a few weeks emailing him back and forth and ultimately had my ass handed to me. After the course ended, I remember I was still emailing my professor. This time I was debating him that we don't have free will. Turns out free will is his like area of expertise. So once again, I had my ass handed to me. CSE 240. Uh, this was like the first real, real computer science course. This was a course in uh, C, C++. This was a pretty hard course. We learned a lot about like pointers, memory management, dynamically allocating memory, C string. We also messed around with like functional programming languages like uh, Dr. Scheme or Racket, Dr. Racket Scheme. We went more into linked lists, binary search trees, doing some more stuff with data structures. I remember my teacher for this class was like comically stressed out. Geology 101 plus the lab. I hate this class. I hate rocks so much. This class was so boring. I never want to study rocks or see a rock ever again in my entire life. But on the bright side, we had this one extra credit assignment. If we were to go up, write a poem, and perform it to the class, you know, about rock. Class was like 300 students. It turns out I was the only person that actually wrote and performed his own poem. Society has been blaming the whack little rich jocks since elementary, but no one wants to blame the black, brittle, carpet rich rock that's sedimentary. <laughs> the society is toxic. You're all toxic. This class is toxic. Vegetation accumulates in a setting that's anoxic. Pretty soon we'll all be held hostage when the cottage locks its boxes due to the sea levels rising, which is when the Loch Ness doxes the tropics. And who's left to blame? That low silica, brittle rock is. <laughs> Cynthia! <laughs> That was fun. Calc 2, aka the second B that I've ever gotten in a math course in my entire life. The professor for this class was pretty good, but he was like really mean. I remember he picked up a girl's water bottle one day and said he was gonna pour her water all over her if she kept talking and then moved her across the class. I don't know if that's allowed in America, but you know. I also remember there was this kid next to me who kept trying to like flex how much smarter than me he is, but he ended up getting a C for that class, so that's nice. So the first test I had in this class, I got an 84. The second test, I walked out of the testing center. I felt pretty good about it. I thought I was gonna score well. Felt a possible A coming on, but then I ended up getting a 56. And that's a really weird feeling. Like when you actually study for a test and you feel like you did good, but you absolutely failed it. But at this point, I had, I had a few options. I knew that if I were to just drop the class, I could retake it next semester. Or if I were to just get an F on everything from here on out, I could replace the F with an A and just retake it. However, if I chose to stay in this class and I ended up doing anything besides getting an A on every test from here on out, I would get a C for the class. And if I get a C, I can't retake it. So I'd be stuck with that C forever. This was a really hard choice to make because I wasn't confident in my ability to get an A for every test in this class because I just failed the test, right? I told myself that I'm gonna get an A on every test, studied my ass off, stayed two weeks ahead of class, spent pretty much all my time on this class and the next test, I got a 94, and then on the final, once again, I got a 94, and got a B for the class. Wow, motivational. English 102. So all you really need to know is I did an essay about why steroids are actually safe for you, and then I wrote this poem about the president of ASU, Michael Crow. Oh, Michael. Michael Crow. Can you hear me, Michael? Oh, no. Michael has turned into a white girl. Where is your car, Michael? Why are you on a bicycle? For a response, I waited and waited. But alas, Michael has taken NyQuil on the light rail. Man, he is so innovative. Philosophy 318, Philosophy of Religion. Once again, it was another philosophy course with the same professor as before. I did a presentation on the simulation hypothesis, which if you don't know, it's the theory that we were living in a simulation. So that about sums up my freshman year of college. I mean, I don't know, was, was that more serious than high school? Currently, I'm a sophomore and uh, it's actually a lot harder than freshman year. I'm kind of getting dicked right now. When I'm done with this, I will make a video on my sophomore year of college. So if you're interested in the classes I'm taking right now and how I do in those and what my professors are like, then make sure you subscribe because I will be making that video too. But until then, Send me money if I'm cute.